Hey everyone, Keith McGinnis here with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. So, I'm going to show you how I created a beautiful striated stone where we took this travertine fireplace hearth and turned it into this beautiful fireplace hearth. Alright, this is a fireplace hearth. The colors I am using, black metallic, aluminite black dye, dark browns mica powder, I'm using pearl white by Just Resin, I'm using aluminum by Just Resin, and I am using Alumilite brown dye, our trusty tool, the beard comb, that is Bondo spreader that I used as scissors to notch that out. But it works fantastic. So, um, let's start with, I'm just going to get these poured out, and I want to pour these out in a linear fashion. Shh, be very, very quiet. And that was our Alumilite black dye. Now we're going to get our black metallic. So I kind of consider the black and the black metallic to kind of be my base colors. And so when I put in the bronze and the white pearl, which I'm going to be doing now, I'm putting those colors in pockets. And you'll see, by the time it's all said and done, you'll see how much of a difference that makes by having some of those colors in pockets. And, and those colors can be whatever you want them to be. And then we have our aluminum, and the aluminum you got to be careful with because it can take over. So the aluminum, I'm going to go kind of some striated lines with that. Because I really don't want pockets because I know, like I said, it can take over. So now, I just want to get this melted out. And I really don't want to mix the colors up. But I want to kind of stay striated. And I'm being careful not to mix all the colors together. I just want to get them, basically I'm just getting the board covered. And I want to leave those pockets of color. The edges, I mainly want to get those greased. I'm going to get a lot of color that's going to be flowing over the edges. So I'm not too concerned about that right now. All right, now I'm going to get some of our little light brown dye. Let's get some going right here. Now the reason that I added the Alumilite brown dye after I melted all the colors in is because I wanted that brown dye to be on top. If you haven't worked with that Alumilite opaque brown dye, it is absolutely gorgeous. Alright, now let's have a little fun with our bondo spreader. But while we are really fluid, This is where we're going to kind of make that stone look. And again, the reason I'm using the Bondo spreader is I, I want to give that, that look of layers. All right. Now, I'm going to heat, I'm going to heat that up just a little bit because I'm going to tilt it. So let's get some pockets here. So what I'm doing here is I'm heating up some, some areas, and it's the areas that I want to move the most when I tilt uh, the piece. So when I tilt it up, those areas that I heated uh, are going to want to flow more than some of those other areas. And, and the reason for tilting it, again, is to kind of take away that man-made look and make it look more authentic. And now let's tilt it back the other way. So if you have a project that you're able to tilt, you can tilt it side to side, you can tilt it back and forth, whatever you want to do to get that epoxy to move where you want it to move. So I mixed up, actually, I mixed up Copper Glitter, Bronze Galaxy, and the Burnt Caramel. And I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, thicken up. Okay, now the epoxy is still fairly fluid, so that alcohol that I'm spritzing on there, once it starts to dissipate, is just going to leave some really, really cool effects. Those cells that you see right now, um, good God almighty, oh they're actually going to go away. <laughs> uh, what are they doing with that? 
Man, that is really pretty. That is really pretty. I'm gonna walk away now. You can see some of that bling that's in there if the glare is just right. It's really cool how it flowed over that rock edge. And this corner edge is really cool. And we got some bling going there. But all those lines that came from that notched bondo spreader have all softened. That really turned out really pretty. And I really think what made the difference with this piece over the one that I had done earlier is that brown alumalite dye. See those perpendicular lines that were put in there by the torch? Those are still gonna continue to develop but really makes for a really cool effect. This corner over here looks pretty cool too. All right, I'm walking away. And the customer absolutely loved going from that travertine tile to a beautiful fireplace hearth where the colors all tie in together. Uh, I did apply the Ultimate Top Coat Natural, which is the matte finish. And I will have a video in a full tutorial on how I apply the Ultimate Top Coat Natural. Uh, and I have very, very good success with it. But this piece really turned out nice. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate your comments. And don't forget to subscribe for upcoming tutorials. And this is Keith McGinnis. We will see you on the next video.